Today we're going to talk about the new detonation EMS 1.3. This is the revision B. A couple of updates in the revision A, and it's a huge step up from the 1.2. This still holds the same firmware compatibility to the Spiduino 0.4, so no firmware changes need to be made there, and all firmware updates from Josh will apply to this board. So the biggest upgrade from the 1.2 is going to be this IDC8. This has six new pins, four medium current outputs, which could be used to control relays. Uh, it can be set up in Tuner Studio to do whatever you wish them to do. It also has two 0 to 5 volt inputs. Now this could be fuel or oil pressure, any 0 to 5 volt input that you choose. Now in the new firmware, the fuel and oil pressure can be populated in the firmware to be set up as engine protection. So if you get too low of oil pressure, uh, it will shut the engine off or fuel pressure. Uh, that, can, that all can be set up in Tuner Studio. So these inputs can be very valuable for engine protection and they are already set up and wired on the board so they're ready to go. Another big change is that I went to through-hole bias resistors for coolant and intake temperature. A lot of the boards, they use the standard GM style uh, 2490K ohm resistor, which really only works good for certain applications. Now, this gives you the ability to put whatever bias resistor you want. Uh, you can just use the standard 2490 uh, in there and it will work the same as uh, any of the other boards. Another big addition is the Bluetooth header. This is ready to go for some specific HC05s that actually have this exact pinout, but if not, you can uh, populate them or wire them however you want. This gives you the VCC, the five volts, ground TX and RX connections directly to the Arduino board without having to do any uh, soldering or connecting on the board itself or on the ECU. You're going to have to excuse my poor soldering in this situation, but this also has the SMD footprint for the map sensor. Now, I did retain the MPX style footprint, just in case anybody wanted to do that. I do like the idea of having them both populated and having the ability to use them both. If you didn't want to use any of the onboard map sensors and you had your own external map sensor, if you leave them unpopulated, the same as the pin designated for the 0.4 will function as intended. So you could use your own external map sensor. And the last thing I want to talk about is the ignition output. I did populate them with 10 ohm resistors, very high wattage. The reason for this is because a lot of the Volkswagen guys were having problems getting the required current output for firing their coil. So they were having to desolder and add different resistors or make modifications to a lot of the boards. This gives you the option to really do anything. Now, if you need the higher resistance, you can simply add a small resistor in line with the wiring. But this really gives a lot more flexibility for ignition control. This is a really bad bass tune uh, for the S13, but this is running on the new um, Revision B for the 1.3 detonation EMS ECU. I uh, just wanted to show it running. Everything is working absolutely fantastic. Uh, no issues whatsoever. This thing is ready to go, uh, ready to be tuned and ready for the track.